In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Matthew, chapter 19, verses 2 through to 15. And great multitudes followed him, and he healed them there. The Pharisees also came to him, testing him, and saying to him, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife, or just any reason? And he answered and said to them, Have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then they know, are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no man separate. And they said to him, Why then did Moses command to give a certificate of divorce and to put her away. And he said to them, Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, permitted you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. I say to you, whoever divorced his wife except for sexual immorality and marries another commits adultery, and whoever marries her who is divorced commits adultery. And his disciples said to him, If such is the case of the man with his wife, it is better not to marry. And he said to them, All cannot accept this saying, but only those to whom it has been given. For there are eunuchs who were born thus from their mother's womb, and there are eunuchs who were made eunuchs by men, and there are eunuchs who have made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven's sake. He who is able to accept it, let him accept it. Then little children were brought to him, that he might put his hand on them and pray. But the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them. For of such is the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them, and departed from there. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words, your teachings. Help us to accept it this in this reading from St. Matthew's Gospel the first part is about the Pharisees testing Jesus and they brought up divorce and they said is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for just any reason and he said to them, Have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female? And for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. And they said to him, Why then did Moses command it to give a certificate of divorce and to put her away? Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, permitted you to divorce your wives, but for the, from the beginning it was not so. And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, except for sexual immorality, and marries another, commits adultery. 
and whoever marries her who is divorced commits adultery. Then they go on to say to him, If such is the case of the man with his wife, it is not it is better not to marry. And then he gives it goes on to talks about there are eunuchs and there are eunuchs. And those who give themselves to God and not marry. The last section on this reading is talking about the receiving of children. Innocent children. Then little children were brought to him that he might put his hands on them and pray. But the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and do not forbid them. For of such is the kingdom of heaven. Innocent children. Once upon a time, we were innocent children. Unfortunately, when we get older, we are no longer innocent. We have sinned, we have fallen short. In many cases, because of that world around us. For those who can remain innocent as children, it is a blessing. We need to seek out that innocence, simpleness, and love. Pray to the Holy Spirit so that you will understand this reading and understand the importance of being innocent. Glory to you, O God. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.